checking out the uh, Matilda Serena, and this is a, uh, a cigar made by Matilda Cigars. It is their uh, medium strength. It's the only cigar they have that's wrapped in a Connecticut, and that is an Ecuadorian Connecticut. Uh, the binder is Dominican, and the filler is Dom Dominican and Nicaraguan. Now, you can pick up this cigar. This is the uh, 6x60 Gordo. It's roughly $8.50. Uh, they have them usually where all the Matildas are. I picked this up at Stag uh, Tobacco and West of Phoenix, and that is, a, as you can tell, it is a good-looking Connecticut. It's really tight seams, minimal veins, and, man, it is a good-looking stick. I don't know. I can't aim. I'm sorry. All right, everybody, into the pre-draw of the cigar. I went ahead and cut off with a straight cut. It is giving me just a little bit of problems with the wrapper, but that's not such a big deal. Sometimes they crack, they're real delicate. We'll just get it wet a little bit. On that pre-draw, I'm getting that heavy earth profile, getting a little bit of pepper, and that might come from that uh, Dominican-Nicaraguan blend that they have as the binder. But man, I gotta say, it is a tasty stick and I haven't even lit it up yet. So let's go ahead and light it up. I'll use my trusty torch lighter. Go ahead and toast it. Not too close, don't wanna char it, cause the flavors to get overpowered with the charred tobacco. Uh, get it really f toasted here, then we'll switch it in. And another thing people always ask, always, why do I roll the cigar? You roll the cigar when you're lighting it because you want it to be even. You don't want to have start having construction problems and then your experience is kind of blown away. But so far, into this first third, we're getting the earth, a little bit of, of a pepper, more like a white pepper, real mild, not too overpowering. Man, that is a good stick. Now, there is going to be a video that I'm posting. It is a pairing, and I'm pairing that up with a strawberry Blondale uh, that's local to Arizona. So check that one out as well. Um, just figured I might as well match something up with these cigars. I love the Matilda brand. And with a, uh, the person who runs Matilda, uh, you know, for 40 years, they've been in the cigar industry. So they, it seems like everyone I've ever got, I've had no construction. And man, it is just a extraordinary experience, at least in my opinion. Now, everybody might not agree, but you know, that's what I'm getting. So with that said, we'll be back with our second third right after this. What's up everybody? Welcome back to our cigar review of the second third of the Matilda. In the second third, uh, we're starting to get a little bit of a leather profile and a creaminess uh, with a little bit of sweetness. Uh, it is starting to give me almost like a, uh, a, a nut profile, more like a cashew on the, the cigar. But I gotta say, man, so far, so good. Very good stick. And as you can see, it's not burning razor sharp, uh, but it's not hindering my experience at all. But I gotta say, I do love the Matilda cigars. They are one of my favorite in the last couple years. I've tried all of them. And I've gotta say, for small batch companies, uh, cigars, these are ones that I do recommend people try. So, so with that said, we're back with our final third right after this. All right, everybody, back to the final third of our review, the Matilda Serena. In the final third, we're getting the same profiles. We're getting the consistency of the nut profile of the cashew. We're getting the uh, pepper. We're getting a little bit of that leather. It's staying smooth. The smoke is real creamy at this point, and it is one of those that you can smoke down to the nub. I am having just a little bit of problems with the wrapper. It's I usually have issues with Connecticut wrappers. I don't know if it's that they're not getting uh, cool enough or staying humid enough in my humidor, but it seems like they always crack and break on me. It is about 90 degrees outside, so it's been outside a little while with me, so it might be that. I don't know. But all in all, a really good cigar. If you haven't tried any of the Matildas, definitely check those out. As I said before, I have all of the cigars that are available by Matilda on other reviews, so definitely check those out. And man, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke.
and I will see you next time.